Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. Together with me, my daughter Luisa. So today we are very happy to talk about how to create a launcher Kubernetes engine. So I will hand it over to Luisa to cover the first part, and then I will continue. Over to you, Luisa. Thank you. So start off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about where you can run RKE cluster. So you have quite a bit of freedom as you can run on any Linux as long as you is able to install Docker. So we have the bare metal server on premise VM or VM hosted by infrastructure providers. So next, the many ways to create RKE cluster, such methods include via CRI or via Terraform and the method we're gonna to use today is through Rancher Server Web Council. So if you do not have a Rancher Server yet, we also have a video where we show you how to create one. Just follow this link. So here are the simple steps to creating an RKE cluster. So soon we're gonna log on to the Rancher UI and actually just two steps. First, just creating an RKE cluster by inputting the cluster name and choosing a cloud provider. And secondly, and finally, is to install the Rancher agent onto the node. Now I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration. So here we are, the Rancher homepage. Now navigate to the create. So you see there's a few categories of ways you can create, but today we're gonna use the custom selection for existing nodes and create a cluster using RKE. Loading up and for name, I'm gonna pick RKE for Louisa. Leaving the member roles and labels kind of annotations as they are and scroll down to the Kubernetes option. So this is the latest GA version. And here are some other items that I'm going to leave for default today. Let's scroll down more to see the cloud provider. Because we're using Alibaba Cloud today, we have to pick the custom selection. And the rest of these advanced options, leave them as default or we'll proceed to here, the node roles. As we're creating only one node cluster, select all three of these checkboxes and make sure to copy this command to use very soon. Clicking on done and here, newly created is just provisioning. So head over to the ECS console on Alibaba Cloud. And refresh that. We're gonna connect to this ECS here. And select the workbench connection. I'll open up a new tab where you see you can pick either public or private, stay with private today, and we're using a certificate. Just gotta import that. So it's the private key. Open. Okay, and you're ready to roll. Just take a little bit to load. It should be done. And now you'll paste what you had just copied from the Rancher site. Enter. Now it's gonna be creating the image 
So might take a few minutes, gonna quickly pause and let that finish. So now the Ranja agent has finished downloading. So you can head back to this Ranja's website. And go to our node. Click on provisioning and log. And you see that it started initiating at 703, 50 seconds. And if it is still going, but it should only take a few minutes. We will pause here until it finish. All right, let's continue. As you guys can see from the screen, we initiated the cluster creation 70350, and the cluster has been created just under three minutes. 70644, we finished the Kubernetes cluster creation successfully. Uh, thanks, Louisa, and also thanks for uh, thanks to Ronja makes life a lot easier. Basically, only just need three minutes, and the RKE cluster has been successfully created. So now I'm going to come back to the slide deck here. So we already created the RKE cluster. I'm going to show you how to verify if the RKE cluster is up running. So you can either monitor from the Ronja UI or you can download the cube configure, you can verify from the command line. So come back to the uh, Rancher UI. If, I go, go in, if I'm going to click the cluster here, you can see the new cluster created by Luisa, it is showing active. So you can click here to download the cube configure from a command line for you to access uh, the cluster via cube control. But I'm going to verify from the UI, click Explorer, and from here, you can verify your cluster status, your Kubernetes cluster version, the CPU utilization, and also how many pods are up running. But you can also verify from the Kube, Kube control shell. If I'm going to click a Kube control shell here, it will launch the, the command line. And from here, you can run the command line to verify if the node is configured correctly. But if you want to, once you've done the cluster, you created the cluster, you want to deploy some additional application, you just uh, move your you know, mouse here under the applications in the marketplace, and you can choose the application, you can search the application, you can deploy any containerized applications. So I'm going to, from here, from the command line, I'm going to show you, if I'm going to keep a control get to nodes, you can see I got one node cluster up running, it is a control plane, also have the ETCD installed. It is also a worker node and the devotion also listed here. So that's pretty much all we want to cover for today. Come back to the slide deck here, a few reference links if you want to know a little bit more. Now coming next, I really want to do another, could be you know, two different uh, videos. The first one is talk about how to deploy a database to RKE cluster and how to back up and restore the database running as a containers on Arc. And the second one is about how to migrate the containers. It could be from other distribution, could be from other cloud or other on-premise to RKE cluster. Just to including you a few links about the free automation tools. By now I did the automation on the top of five public cloud. You can you know, literally just under, you know, in a few minutes, you can launch a uh, managed Kubernetes cluster from the major public cloud. And additional information about how to build a Kubernetes cluster on the popular uh, popular Kubernetes distributions, how to back up containers, how to migrate the containers, how to automate the whole process. Uh, that is pretty much all what we want to cover for today. Yeah, I hope it is useful to you. Thanks for watching. And feel free to connect me 
feel free to subscribe our you know YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.